Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Back to Pines TV. I'm Melanie Dries. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, November 5th, 2022. Let's learn something new with our SEL segment. Remember, students, in two weeks, you need to have 25 past lessons for iReady and Imagine Math. Hey, Ladasa, do you have your 25 lessons done for Imagine Math? about two. You have to stop procrastinating. I know, I promise I'll get those 25 lessons done. Okay. Should I do Imagine Math? Nah. Here Hadassah has not been doing her Imagine Math lessons. Later on, the deadline came and she only had five completed. Let's try this again. Should I do Imagine Math? I mean, I did promise. I guess I'll do it. Remember, students, you need to have 25 past lessons for Imagine Math and I Ready by Sunday. It's disappointing that some of you guys have less than 20. Adalta, did you finish your 25 Imagine Math lessons like you promised? Yep. Okay, good job. Thanks. Here, Adalta still had two lessons, but instead of procrastinating, she started managing herself and got those 25 lessons in time. Also remember, procrastinating is a bad habit. Try to overcome it and manage yourself. See you next time on the next SEO. It's always good to have self-management. Now listen a new word with Word of the Day. Hey Jasmine, I heard that you playing the guitar. You sound so good considering you started two months ago. Thanks, you know me, I'm tenacious. That's good that you don't stop chasing your goal. Yep, when I go for something, I don't let it go. That level of tenacity is gonna take you really far someday. See you tomorrow on Word of the Day. Wow, what a great new word. Now let's see what happened today in history with Aiden. Thank you, Melanie. Hi, Patriots. Today in history on December 5th, 1945, Flight 19 disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle. If you didn't know, the Bermuda Triangle is an urban legend. People believe the location is responsible for the disappearance of ships and aircraft that go near it. The Bermuda Triangle contains three islands, Miami, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda. Flight 19 had a mission to conduct bombing on the Florida coast. The leader, Charles Taylor, said he had a shortcut, but soon after his radio went out, the planes disappeared. Apparently, no one knows what happened or how. People even went to look for them, but they disappeared too. Hmm, I wonder what happened to all these people. Maybe there's an underwater city? Now let's check in with Adasa for today's tasty lunch. Thank you, Aiden. Today's lunch is hamburger, Italian sandwich, potato wedges, diced peaches, and your chosen milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is mini cinnamon waffles, syrup, graham crackers, fresh orange, apple juice, assorted cereal, and your choice of milk. Students, keep in mind lunch can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Hidalza. I can't wait for lunch. Super Patriots, this quarter sectional software challenge is coming to an end in 18 days. All of you have plenty of time to get those lessons done. Just get into the right mindset and you're sure to make the challenge. Take a look at the flyer to see what's required. NWEA winter testing is still going on. Today, the second through third graders are taking their NWEA reading tests. Take a look at the testing schedule to see when is your time to test. Good luck! Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure your phone is shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you're not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. If you haven't started signing up for our Epic Sports Fun Day Plus Color Run fundraiser, now's the time. Tell your parents to register you so you can participate in the sports stations. And to participate in the Color Run, raise $30. Use the link in the description below to register. This is sure to be a fun day. 
Let's keep getting in the Christmas spirit by participating in this month's Christmas theme activities. Tomorrow, December 6th, wear your favorite hat or headband. I can't wait to see them all. Students, the Patriot store is open. Now you can spend your hard-earned Patriot dollars on some cool items. Tomorrow is third and fourth grade turn to shop. Make sure to bring your tickets. And as for student government update, today's students should submit their presentation to the social studies teacher for approval. And tomorrow, students will give their presentation to their class and vote on forms will take place. Good luck, Patriots! Calling on all third through eighth graders. If you have ever wanted to be on the morning announcements, you still have a chance. We're still looking for people to participate in our new game show segment. If you're interested, sign up outside of room 200. Now let's see what the weather is looking like today with Sophia. Thanks, Melanie. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather will be 82 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Take this chance to have some fun in the sun. In other weather news, it's going to get colder soon, but December is a great month for sky watching. There are plenty of things you can see this month, so here's a few. Soon, Jupiter will be the brightest object in the sky. Since it will be brighter than the moon, you will be able to see it with your naked eye. Another cool thing happening this month is December's full moon. The cold moon. The cold moon will be at its peak on December 7th. No matter the weather, you will definitely be able to see this beautiful sight. Now let's go to Chanel and Destiny for Hot Topic. Thank you, Sophia. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Spotify Wrapped has everyone on their toes. Spotify Wrapped is a little gift where they show all your favorite music genres, artists, and how long you've listened all year. But while we wait for the reveal, many funny memes have taken over the internet. Imagine if you had the same results as last year. Apple Music users are definitely going to be triggered for not having results. After two decades, the Lobster Mickey statue has finally made a return to Boston. The Lobster Mickey was auctioned off for a charity in 2005. The statue stands at six feet tall and can be seen at Quincy Market in Massachusetts. Shouldn't he be under the sea? Patriots, other than Earth Day, it's time to show your planet some love. Today's World Soil Day, so go outside, buy some seeds, get your hands dirty, and make a little progress towards making the world a better place. Right, Destiny? After all, we have one planet. Hey, Chanel, do you remember the show with the babies in suits? Boss Baby, right? Yeah, and turns out they're releasing a Christmas special tomorrow. Boss Baby gets swapped out with an elf and is stuck in the North Pole. Can't wait to see what this baby's got in mind. That's it for this week, Patriots. Now let's go to Hedrick for the birthdays. Thanks, Chanel and Destiny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Kirk Johnson, Isabella Saraf Gonzalez, and Blake Vera. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Hendrick. Patriots, here are your packs of petitions. It represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Newton, Ms. Stone, Ms. Galvez, Ms. Sands, Ms. Merkel. You all have the correct answer to Friday's daily challenge, which was, how many holes does this shirt have? The correct answer was eight holes. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Which is the only American state to begin with the letter P? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesonrenaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. When it will be announced on the next Friday announcements. Everyone in RPTV would like to wish you a marvelous Monday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day.